Hey everyone, it's your girl Anissa, and I'm here today with a video uh, because you know I love highlighters. Like, I literally have a video all about the ways I do highlighters in different ways and on different places in my body. Like, my friends even know I'm like a low key, real extra, and I'm like <laughs> highlighting everything before I leave the house. Straight up, honestly. I think even last the other week or something, I had like a guy friend be like, Why do you like putting like glittery stuff on your face? Because it makes me look bomb. Duh. I was like, look, look at the magic. And even he became a believer. So believe in the power of a good highlighter. And I found one that's super, super, super duper affordable. It's the um, Wet n Wild Mega Go Highlighting Powders. These little babies here. I only saw two colors in the Walgreens that is here near me. I've been trying to lurk them out and stock them. But I have Precious Petals and then Crown of My Canopy. I don't really understand the name, but you know what? It looks good, so we're, we'll take it. Um, I wanted to find more of the ones and like even like the other, um, like that, what is it? Like a lavender light color? However, like online for Ulta, they're online only. Um, and I, I, I don't think they have them at the CVS near me. I'm just, I'm lurking out every corner to just get it in person. Refuse to buy them online. I'll probably end up having to, but you know, whatever. Okay, so here's the tea about these. These retail for about approximately $4.99. I have seen them on higher prices, like on Amazon, but I think they're just trying to, you know, make a dollar on a girl. I respect the scam. This is a 0.19 ounces of product. It comes in just a little easy pan situation. No mirror, just a clear packaging. And then the product is like this fits pretty neatly in the palm of your hand and it has like this little pressed inlay of this like little florally thing. So real eye catching. Thank you for the details. Um, it, the description of it is shimmer and shine in all the right places. The same formula as our must have mega go highlighting powder backed by popular demand. Our number one highlighting powder, it, powder is here to stay. Thank you for not making it limited edition. Um, it's ultra pearly finish and easy to blend formula makes it a fan favorite. The silky smooth, highly pigmented powder gives an all over glow when applied to cheekbones, brow bones, and cupid's bone. And for me, my collarbones and my boobs. So let's take a quick look at Precious Petals. Here she is. She's like a pinky pearly type right here um it's it has the golden undertones but not like a loud gold like a soft gold that's it I'm under, yeah that's it on the finger and that's it on the back of the hand so she packs some power like no one's gonna dull your shine with that the next one is Crown of My Canopy. It's definitely a much more bisque type highlighter. That's it on the back of the finger. A little bit more subdued than Precious Petals. And that's it on the back of the hand. And as you see, like when you're turning in light, that crown of my canopy blends really into the skin tone, whereas Precious Petals pops out a little more. I'm just going to show you plain brush swatches of each of these in the same order. I'm um, starting with Precious Petals. I'm going to be using my Morphe 501 brush. Um, thanks, Jacqueline Hill, for talking me into buying this one. <laughs> you go, girl. And... I'm going to be picking it up with my brush. I just swirl it around and that's how much product is picked up on a brush. So here's precious petals going and getting dusted onto right next to it. So you see it's very easy and gentle application with the brush because right here you have precious petals with the brush with the finger swatch. Okay, let's go in with crown of my canopy next to the finger swatch of crown of my canopy. And again, the product picked up on the brush and we're just gonna dust it next to it. And as you see, again, super lightweight 
on the skin. And this is like natural light coming in from this side of my camera capturing this. And this is like my like other studio light. So it has a pretty good feel for how it looks in natural lighting. So even though this, the um, even though with the brush it didn't go on so strong, it definitely builds up. And I've used this a couple days now actually, and I really do like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it as I normally do. I'm gonna start with the um, crown of my canopy because I actually actually cannot speak. Actually, I cannot speak, but <laughs> actually I layered the two. And start right in here. Ooh. Hello, you guys, like, hello highlighter. Even my camera was like, whoa there, girl. I saw like the lighting dim down on it. It's okay, it's okay. And then going in here with that. And then you can drag it up to get that arc. This brush is a really deep, I, I, I literally hesitated when I first had it because it was super pencil -y, but as you use it, it did fluff up a little more, but it really works really well for just highlighting. I'm going to go underneath my brow bone with this as well. I am going to intensify this a little bit just with um, my Mario Badescu spray that I normally do. You can use MAC Fix Plus. They both do the same thing. But this is like the rose, the rose water spray. So I'm just going to add that into the mix. And of course, BOD over the top extra. Woo! Boom. I'm sorry, I keep raising my hand and then like, I know the camera is like, what are you doing girl? What are you doing? You got highlighter, you got this. Just removing a little bit of gloss from the top lip so I can go over that. I really love highlighting right here. Whew. Hello Cupid's bow. One of my little hacks is I really like to blend back down the forehead highlight because I am president of the Big Head Honor Society and sometimes the highlight there can be drawn too much attention but you still need it. You know, you need just a little, just a little sprinkle. Okay, so we're going to go over just the super high points with the precious petals. So that way you have a multi-dimensional highlight. Even though we see like there is quite a bit of dimension already to this highlighting. I do like that bit of that rosier and more bisque undertone for me. It just gives it a very natural glow in my opinion. Natural for it being extra. I hope that makes sense. It kind of contradicts itself, but yeah. Either way, you can go back in with this little bit here and just go like, boom, you want it on the highest, highest points. And then that's gonna get it really, like a dramatic highlight. Just going right in that. And then that's going to be the one I drag up to. And just right underneath the brow bone. Like so.
Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and found it super helpful. I had fun sharing these new two treasures with you all. I hope you can go out and pick them up yourself. If not, do not hesitate. You know I'm going to find them for you. They will be in the description box down below with shoppable links. And the colors I use will be highlighted as well. So just in case you don't forget, it was Precious Petals and Crown of My Canopy. Um, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you're a part of my tribe on here. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.